Holy, 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 are you Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, holy, 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 are you Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, glory, 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 hallelujah, worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, so worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, glory, 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 are you Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, so worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, so worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, holy, holy, holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, so worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, so worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, glory, glory, glory to God. That has just been in my spirit the last few days. Worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, so worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, so worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, so worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, amen. Glory, glory, glory to the Lord God Almighty. I pray and hope you all woke up with the praise and worship on your heart, mind, and soul for the Lord, and that you are ready to conquer and walk victoriously in Christ Jesus today. Amen. Good morning, good morning, Kingdom Citizens. How are you doing? This is a very, very cold, cold morning, but very, very glorious. I am adjusting pretty well. I am adjusting pretty well to the weather. Um, my nose is kind of, you know stuffy a little bit but we're gonna rebuke that in the name of Jesus (laughs) but yes I am adjusting very well with this weather oh my goodness I even I even uh not only was I under a blanket but I had my my uh little jacket on as well (laughs) While I was sleeping, had my jacket, my blanket, and my heating pad. You know, it's cold. But good morning, Kingdom Citizens. This is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading, where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. We are in Zechariah. Ooh, excuse me. Zechariah chapters 12, 13, and 14 this morning. And then Revelation 21. All right, so let's pray. Abba Father, Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, creator of heaven and earth, we come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We glorify you and we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for waking us up this morning, getting us up on this glorious, they say this is fall, but it feels like winter, Lord. (laughs) But we appreciate and we are very very grateful for all that comes from you Lord God anything that comes from you we are grateful for very very thankful Lord God and we just ask that you help us get through these winter months uh, November December January and February and I just pray that No sickness, no virus, no diseases shall enter into our bodies, Lord God, into the people of God, that you mark us as safe, that we are taken care of, that we are healed in the name of the Lord Jesus, that we are healed by your stripes, Lord God. 
and that we can claim it, we can declare it, we can decree it, Lord God. That you are our great physician, Lord Jesus, and that we don't have we can place all of our worries, any doubts, any anxieties, we can place all those things in your hands, Lord God. And that we know that you are covering us and you are taking care of us. And we just thank you, Lord God Almighty, for making ways out of no way, for interceding for us every single day. Continue to just cleanse us, purge us, and purify us. Thank you for your word. Holy Spirit, come in and teach us. Teach us your ways. Teach us your commandments, Lord God. Teach us how to talk like you and walk like you and see like you and hear the way you hear. And we just give you all glory, honor, and praise, Lord God. And we pray this, pre we pray this prayer in the presence of Jehovah. In the spirit of Jesus, Yahweh, in Jesus' holy, mighty name, amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, kingdom citizen. All right. So let's go to Zechariah. Amen. Amen. see all right Zechariah 12 13 and 14 and then Revelation 21 all right the burden of the word of the Lord for Israel saith the Lord which stretches forth the heavens and layeth the foundation of the earth and formeth the spirit of man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about when they shall be in the siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces. Though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. In that day, saith the Lord, I will smite every horse with astonishment and his rider with madness. And I will open mine eyes upon the house of Judah and I will smite every horse of the people with blindness. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength in the Lord of hosts, their God. In that day will I make the governors of Judah like an hearth of fire among the wood and like a torch of fire in a sheath. And they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand and on the left. And Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem, excuse me. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. In that day shall there be a great mourning in Jerusalem as the mourning of Hadadrimon in the valley of Megiddo. And the land shall mourn every family apart 
the family of the house of David apart and their wives apart, the family of the house of Nathan apart and their wives apart, the family of the house of Levi apart and their wives apart, the family of Sh Sh Shimei apart and their wives apart, all the families that remain, every family apart and their wives apart. So I, I I can I can see that it this is a prophecy of Jesus and especially in verse ten uh, when it mentions uh, him be, him being pierced. So I, I I believe that's the prophecy of Jesus Christ, um, because he uh, Jesus comes from the lineage of the house of David. So that that's the that's pretty much the only part I really really can see and understand on um, the prophecy of Jesus. So my commentary says the announcement of God's blessing on Jerusalem shifts to spiritual reconciliation which is dependent on divine grace and human contrition the interpret the it, the interpretive crooks is the identity of me whom they have pierced especially when the prophet declared they shall mourn for him the best explanation is that God's true followers will recognize that by their disobedience and rejection of the divine shepherd they in effect pierce God's soul in their remorse, family, family after family will weep with the deepest bitterness imaginable. This verse also anticipates Jesus' crucifixion as indicated by the quotation in John 19.37. Chapter 19, verse 37. So, yeah. And God is God it, throughout the Old Testament. God is always expressing how uh, the children of Israel, Jerusalem, all of them have hurt, hurt his heart, ha have hurt him. So the pierceness, he he is again letting them know you have hurt me, you know. All right, so Zechariah 13. In that day there shall be a fountain opened to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will cut off the names of the idols, excuse me, out of the land. And they shall no more be remembered. And also I will cause the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of the land. And it shall come to pass that when any shall yet prophesy, then his father and his mother that begat him shall say unto him, Thou shalt not live, for thou speakest lies in the name of the Lord. And his father and his mother that beget him shall thrust him through when he prophesieth. And it shall come to pass in that day that the prophets shall be ashamed every one of his vision when he hath prophesied. Neither shall they wear a rough garment to deceive. But he shall say, I am no prophet. I am a husbandman. For man taught me to keep cattle from my youth. And one shall say unto him, What are these wounds in thy hands? Then he shall answer, Those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, and against the man that is my fellow, saith the Lord of hosts. Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn mine hand upon the little ones. And it shall come to pass, that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts 
therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver as refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my God. Wow. I don't know about you, but that was kind of beautiful. <laughs> uh, how I how I saw that that was that was actually it was almost like excuse me it was almost like poetry, you know. He God is like. I mean, like, he's like literally saying, awake, O sword, against my shepherd. So he's he's setting it up where Jesus will have to be crucified. You know, th it, it's like it's like a, a loving. It's like a poetry of of his shepherd having to come and, and be crucified. And he's saying, I will, I will turn my hand upon the little ones. Like uh, every, everyone that, that the remnant of the people that even come after Jesus crucifixion, like I will refine them as silver and refine them and try them as gold is tried. Like that, that was beautiful to me. I don't know. <laughs> I, I see the glory of the Lord in that and in, in what was just read. That was, I don't know. <laughs> How does anybody else, any, any comments, any comments? All right. So if you are just coming on, good morning, kingdom citizens. We are in Zechariah. We are at chapter 14 now. Zechariah 14. All right. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity. And the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle and his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west. And there shall be a very great valley. And half of the mountain shall remove toward the north and half of it toward the south. And ye shall flee to the valley of the mountains. For the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Azal. Yea, ye shall flee like as ye fled from before the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. And the Lord my God shall come and all the saints with thee. And it shall come to pass in that day that the light shall not be clear nor dark. But it shall be one day which shall be known to the Lord, not day nor night. But it shall come to pass that at evening time it shall be light. And it shall be in that day that living waters shall go out from Jerusalem half of them toward the former sea and half of them toward the hinder sea in summer and in winter shall it be it says and the Lord shall be king over all the earth in that day shall there be one Lord and his name one 
All the land shall be turned as a plain from Geba to Rimon, south of Jerusalem, and it shall be lifted up and inhabited in her place. From Benjamin's gate unto the place of the first gate, unto the corner gate, and from the tower of Hananiel unto the king's wine presses and men shall dwell in it and there shall be no more utter destruction but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited and this shall be the plague where it, wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem their flesh cons shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them. And they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor. And his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. And Judah also shall fight at Jerusalem. And the wealth of all the heathen round about shall be gathered together gold and silver and apparel in great abundance and so shall be the plague of the horse of the mule of the camel and of the ass and of all the beasts that shall be in these tents as this plague so beverly says it is interesting that gold is the metal that he uses as an example it lets me know that we are valuable to him. Gold is strong, yet it is still soft and moldable. So we must be strong, yet yet yield to God's will so we can be used in his service. Amen. Amen. Silver and gold. Silver, silver you can met because he, he mentioned silver and gold. So you can you can actually melt those melt both of those and, 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 and make and mold them that is that is awesome so we we are we are very very valuable to him you know very very valuable amen yes all right so verse 16 Zechariah uh Zechariah 14 verse 16 so and it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king the Lord of hosts and to keep the feast of tabernacles and it shall be that whosoever will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king the Lord of hosts even upon them shall be no rain and if the family of Egypt go not up and come not, they have no rain. There shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. This shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all nations that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. In that day shall there be upon the bells of the horses holiness unto the Lord and the pots in the Lord's house shall be like the bowls before the altar. Yea, every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness unto the Lord of hosts. And all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and seat therein. And in that day there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of the Lord of hosts. So um, as I was reading that, it, it, it makes me remember, uh, um, I believe I was, I believe I was in high school at the time. I am grateful that he's constantly refining us like silver and gold and making us better in him. Amen. Yes. I, that. And especially after, re you know, uh, reading this, um, 
I believe I was in high school when I remember hearing of the rumors or or hearing of the things and the activity of Jerusalem. Um, um, uh, how like the other countries would go and literally fight against Jerusalem because they were fighting over the land. I, I remember, I remember that, and 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 so I know that it's in the history books. Probably current, you know, they probably had to, but I I, I know that you could go back and look in the history books, and and it, and it also makes me want to thank God that I don't believe America ever fought against Jerusalem. I believe we've actually tried to, uh, um be at their aid like you know help but I I'm reading that reading this it's like whoa you know and and it, it makes you want to pray for pray pray for that country pray pray for the people of God that comes out of that country you know pray for the people of God that go and visit that country uh visit that place you know and I, I know a lot of us go and visit Jerusalem. Uh, a lot of us in America, we definitely go and visit uh, Jerusalem um, and, and, and pray and things like that. I've always found it interesting whether, uh, you know, to, to, to one day maybe go to Jerusalem, but it's never really been it's never really been placed in me to ever go really go visit Jerusalem. But, um, I, I do pray. I do pray for the people, you know, over there that reading that just makes me like, Whoa, you don't want to mess with God's people. Amen. And like, and like Beverly says, we we want to thank God that, you know, he continues to refine us. He continues to try try us so we can be strong and 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 we can, you know, like refining us and trying uh, refining us like silver and trying us like gold in the fire. That is that is God's grace and mercy upon us, making us more better and 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 great. Therefore, we can be great because He's great. You know, it's like we are awesome because He's awesome. You know, it's 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 a lot. It's a lot to take in, but it's awesome. Zechariah, wow. Zechariah was given some really, really strong visions. He was given some very, very powerful visions. Um, we are going to have to restudy that, re restudy uh, Zechariah, but um, he's definitely. A different prophet from the other prophets. And 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 reading the prophets, reading the different pro reading about the different prophets and the way God uses them, it's like you can really you can really really tell how much God loves them. Uh to reveal these things, to reveal his heart to 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 give them secrets and messages um you can really see how how much he really love his true prophets the ones it's like he's trusting information trusting uh secrets trusting his heart and and using them to deliver what he wants to say to the people you know, and so you you need to be you need to be a person that God can can trust 
information to. You need to be somebody that that he can pour his heart into and and use you to deliver whatever he needs to be delivered to the people, you know? But you can you can really see how much he really really loves loved his his uh true prophets. All right, so good morning, Kingdom Citizen. If you are just coming on, we just got through finishing off Zechariah. We read Zechariah 12, 13, and 14. And so now we're moving on to Revelation 21. Y'all, I we we are just day a day away, days away. Of literally completing the whole entire Bible, y'all know I'm I'm very excited about that because I've never done that before in my entire life. Yes, I've read the Bible, I, I've been in the Word, but every single day, every single day for a whole year, this is my first time. And that is exciting to me. I knew it was possible because many people have done it. I knew it was possible. But when when God asked me to do it, I was like, are you sure you're asking the right person? <laughs> I did. I did ask that. I was like, you want me to come on every single morning, every single morning for a year and read the words of God. And now that I've done it, it's like, I can't stop now. And he doesn't want me to stop every morning. Come on until, until he tells me to stop. I will do it every morning. Reading the words of God. Amen. <laughs> All right. So Revelation 21. You said that is exciting and a blessing. Yeah, I'm excited. It, 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 it Many times have it actually been in my mind in the past but actually tried actually attempt to do it but I knew that I could do it because he specifically commissioned me to do it it's like I knew anytime God asks you 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 hear you it's like God literally comes and asks you I need you to do this I know he was going to equip me to be able to do it you know, he, he will equip you and, and, and position you to be able to accomplish and, and, and finish anything that he has asked you to do. So I, I, I didn't think about the task at hand. I just dived in and did it. You know, I, didn't, I, I don't I don't think about it. I, don't, I, I just do it, you know. And, and, that, and that's with any assignment or anything that God asks you to do. Don't try to overthink it. Don't, don't just, you just go in and you do it. Whatever he asks you to do, he's going to give you everything you need to be able to do it. And he's definitely not going to give you anything that he don't think you'll be able to accomplish. You know, you know. He, he, he's the one that built you. He's the one that molded you. And so he knows exactly what, what you're capable, capable of and what you're able to do. And, uh, so don't, don't ever, don't ever be afraid. Just, just dive in and, and do, do it. And, and you will be amazed. You know, you'll, you'll go through a whole year and look back and be like, whoa, like, 
Like, Lord, did you just do that through me? <laughs> did you just accomplish that through me? You know? All right. So, Revelation 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, excuse me, woo. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Glory, glory to God. So he tells John to write this down. So that we will all know and see. We will all be able to see through the eyes of John. You know. You know, of course, I got that underlined in my Bible. That That is like, it, 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 it's, it's, it's so beautiful, you know. <laughs> and he said, in verse 6, and he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely he that overcometh shall inherit all things and I will be his God and he shall be my son he that overcometh that means everyone that overcometh all this everything that we're going through all, all, all the turmoil, the, the struggles, every, everything. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his God and he shall be my son. Isn't that beautiful? Like, just reading that, you know, I'm pausing. I'm pausing for a second because we got to soak that in. You know, let's just pause for a second and soak that in you know God is God is so awesome and amazing that he is a God that is prepared and he is a God that uh that makes us aware he 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 gives us the knowledge he and he gives us the understanding and the wisdom and we get to see all the way to the end we get to we we get to we get to actually know what's going to happen all the way to to his to his whole prophecy and everything is all finished. So he says it is done. I am alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory to the Lord God almighty. So he takes us from the beginning all the way to the end. And like glory, glory, glory. That 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 that's just beautiful to me. All right, so verse 8, if you are just coming on, we are in Revelation 21, verse 8. Excuse me. So it says, "But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable 
and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death um, I, 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 in my spirit I, I have to repeat that I have to repeat that verse 8 because this is this is this is very very serious and he's and he's letting you know he is letting you know but the fearful fearful just just having fear it's in the bible it's in the bible that fear and the love of god cannot remain in the same body you cannot be fearful. You cannot be afraid if you have the love of God in you. We read scriptures where the love of God perfected is perfected in us. The love of God is perfected in us. So if you have fear, the love of God can't reside, it can't live there if fear is inside. You have to get rid of fear. You have to get rid of fear and let the love of God come in and perfect itself inside you and, and gird you up. To see, the love of God gives you confidence. The love of God makes you strong. The love of God says, I got you, you know, you can't have fear. So th this is this is very very important. And and notice how that's the first thing it says, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable ab abominable, <laughs> I don't know how to say the word right. And murders, whoremongers, and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death so if there's any if there, if if you ever want to know lord what what should be removed what should be you need to pray and, and say Lord make sure these things are not in me like like come in right now <laughs> come in right now and, and clean that out you know you do not want to be one of these you know you don't want to be one of these and 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 I I love God so much that he he literally li he makes a list so you can know you don't want to be one of these he he gives us the knowledge and the understanding to let us know and and then we have a ch we have a chance and an opportunity to get it right you you don't want to be found fearful unbelieving abominable you don't want to be found a murderer or a whoremonger or a sorcerer or an idolater or a liar and that means you never even came to him and asked for forgiveness you never you never came to him and faced yourself you never came and surrendered i mean like you are and and that's who he's talking to those people who never even they 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 never ask for forgiveness they never check themselves at the door like this is who they are and they will they will take part in the lake of, of fire so verse 9 and there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vows 
full of the seven last plagues and talked with me saying, come hither, I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. Having the glory of God and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. And had a wall great and high and had 12 gates and at the gates, 12 angels and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of of Israel. On the east three gates, and on the north three gates, and on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And all the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. That is so beautiful. I I just that is so beautiful. I'm like I had I had to breathe that in. That is beautiful. Excuse me. All right, so verse 15, and he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof an hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth an emerald, the fifth sardox, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth a topaz, the tenth chrysoprasus, the eleventh a jacinth, the twelfth amethyst and the 12 gates were 12 pearls every several gate was of one pearl and the street of the city was pure gold as it were transparent glass that is so beautiful <laughs> that is so beautiful like and i saw no temple therein for the lord god almighty and the lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. That is so beautiful. Like, oh, makes you want to cry tears of joy. That is, that is, to be able to see that, you know, John was, John was truly, truly, truly blessed and highly favored for real. For him to be able to see that and was allowed to write it down. 
he was able to write everything down that he saw. And, and, and therefore we are able to, we are able to, you know, see. It, that is so beautiful. Excuse me. That's some crazy yawns, crazy, crazy yawns. But that is so beautiful. I mean, could you see the 12 gates, the 12 gates the in the in the in in, in with the uh see what did it say? The 12 gates had had 12 angels and the 12 tribes of of the children of Israel their names are written on the 12 gates. And then the foundation had the 12 apostles names written on it. Like that that is that is uh beautiful. And the stones and the and and everything that that I love it. Any comments? Any comments? You know, I'm just, you know. <sighs> Woo! I told you this weather just. I'm I'm adjusting well, but this weather, who it's got me yawning really, really bad. Um. But yeah, that that is beautiful. Any comments? Any comments? Any comments? Y'all have to say something after that. That is that y'all have to say something after that. I'm just just soaking it all in. That that is that is awesome. Anything, anything, anything. So if you are just coming on, good morning, Kingdom Citizen. We read Zechariah 12, 13, and 14. And we just got through reading uh, Revelation 21 uh, to be able to see what John saw. Uh, that 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 is beautiful. So anything, any comments? Y'all really have to excuse these yawns. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Kingdom citizen. Good morning. We have finished the reading of the word. Uh, if you are just coming on again, we just read Zechariah 12, 13 and 14. And then we read Revelation 21. Uh, right now, I'm just waiting on on some uh, comments Good morning, good morning. Um, just waiting on some comments uh, on what we just read. So if you are just coming on, you'll have to go back and watch the replay. Um, but we just we just got a really beautiful, beautiful description of what the New Jerusalem, what you know, the New Jerusalem uh, that coming from God is going to look like um, we got to see through the eyes of John that it was beautiful very beautiful so so no comments no comments you know that I love you all I love you all so much that, that I'm, I'm just soaking in that what we just read just soaking it in all right. So I know if some of you are just jumping on, I'm about to jump off. Uh, we are here every morning at 530. Don't forget to share and invite um, and let everyone know that we are reading the words of God daily, daily, every day. And so I love you, love you all. And I pray that you all have a wonderful, 
awesome, beautiful, blessed day on purpose. And I will see you 530 in the morning.